Hello, welcome to the next video. I'll show you how to do things. This one is on bond mass, uh, the order in which you do equations. So we're going to start out just with a little example. 3 plus 2 times 7. And I want you to quickly work that out. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, now, which answer did you get? Did you get the answer of 35 or perhaps 17? Well, I'm here to tell you right now that if you got the answer of 35, you are in fact incorrect. The correct answer was 17. So we're going to be looking at why this is the case. And first off, we'll have a look at the different ways that you might have got your answer. We'll look at the wrong way of doing it first, if you've got the answer of 35. So the way I'm guessing you probably did this if you got the answer of 35 is like this. First you went 3 plus 2, and you got 5, and that left you with 5 times 7, and then 5 times 7 gave you the answer of 35. Yeah, well, it's incorrect if you've done it that way. I'm sorry to break it to you. The good news is that right now I'm going to show you the right way of doing it. So we'll have a look. Now, if you got the answer of 17, this is probably the way you would have done it, and this would have been the right way of doing it. First off, you would have gone 2 times 7. 2 times 7 gives you 14. This leaves you with 3 plus 14. 3 plus 14 gives you 17. And 17, like I said, is the right answer. Now the reason one of these is right and one of these is wrong is because in maths there's a particular way that you have to do equations, a particular order. And this, as you can see, and as you have seen, affects your answer. Okay, this can be easily remembered. You'll probably remember it from high school is the idea of bod mass or possibly bomb das. What this means is this is the order in which you do an equation. First off you do anything with brackets. The next thing you do is anything which is orders. This means things like squared, cubed or even the square root. The next things you do are any division multiplication and you just do these left to right like you're reading a sentence. The next thing you do is any addition or subtraction, again left to right. So we'll use this to answer a few questions and to get the right answers. So first off we'll have a quick look at applying this with the question we just did. 3 plus 2 times 7. There's two operations here. There's addition and there's multiplication. Now we use the word bod mass. There's nothing in brackets. There's no orders. There's division multiplication. There's one there. And that's the 2 times 7. So this is one we do first. 2 times 7 is 14. Last of all, we do the addition. So 3 plus 14 gives us the answer of 17. Okay, nice and easy. So using bod mass, we'll have a look at another question. This one here, 5 plus 4 squared times 3. Now we go through bod mass, there's nothing in brackets, but there is some orders, that's the 4 squared bit. Now 4 squared means 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So we get the question 5 plus 16 times 3. So what part of the question do we do now? Now, looking at bod mass, what we do is the multiplication. 16 times 3. 16 times 3 gives us 48. So this leaves us with the question 5 plus 48, to which the answer now can easily be worked out as 53. We'll have a look at one more example. OK, this one's going to be a little bit harder. So right now, I'm going to get you to work out 3 open bracket 6 plus 2 over the square root of 16. Now, I'll just give you a little hint. If you've got a number like this 3 and 6 plus 2 part, what it actually means is 3 times 6 plus 2 in brackets. So, we have a quick look about bod mass. The first bit you're going to see there is there's something in brackets. So this is the part we do first. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. And this leaves us with the question 3 times 8 over the square root of 16. Going along next with bod mass, there's something in order, so we do that part next. That's the square root of 16, so the square root of 16 is 4. This leaves us with the question 3 times 8 over 4. What part do we do now? Well, we go all across, we do the times part, so 3 times 8 is 24. This leaves 24 over 4, and then 24 over 4 gives us the answer of 6. So, if you can remember all these things with bod mass, first you do something with brackets, the next part you're going to do is anything with orders, the next part you're going to do is any divide, multiply, the next part you do is any addition, subtraction, you'll be fine working these out. Okay, good luck with that.